Hello there, this is Ilias and today I'll try to show you how the blue screen works and how you can track a little clip and uh, how you work with uh, Canon EOS R5 RAW data, RAW videos. So the clip I will try to reproduce is something like this one here. You see here I'm uh, tracking myself, it's not a perfect green screen and uh, but yeah just an easy way how to work with green screen so this is the video i want to make i want to create let's close this and um, just to see how much of my gpu and the cpu the computer needs uh, with working with the canon raw da data in davinci resolve therefore my task manager is open on the right and so let's start with the video Delete. Okay, so first of all we will insert both clips. The one is the lion clip and the other one is me in front of the green screen. Then we are in the cutter window and here we just can go let's say here and cut the first one. Delete. Then let's make it equal long like the lion video. For that I put it in uh, on top of the other video. Let's go here where it snaps, cut it and just throw away the rest of the video. So they are the same long. After that we can go into the editor and um, here we can select the upper video with the blue screen and just make a transform. So with the wheel you can make your screen bigger or lower or smaller. Let's make it uh, small so that I fit in here. And then if you want to move the screen around, you have to press the wheel and then you can move everything around just to fix something if it is out of the window you're working with. Then you can click on the crop and just try to make the window so small that you have only green screen and not the rest of the room selected in the video. So let's make it like this. Okay, this is what I wanted. Then we will go into the color tab and just make some color adjustments. For that we can click here on the camera raw because it's Canon um, raw files. Then click here clip and I usually work with Canon Log 3. Let's go to ISO 800 and then play a little bit with the contrast. Lower the shadows, maybe not too much. Play with the highlights. Okay, then we can, uh, this was all the settings with uh, RAW tools. Then we can also go into the curves and here just play with the curves a little bit. Okay, not so much. Okay, let's leave it like it is. Then let's make the same thing with the lion. We could just make a cup apply grade from the other one, but I won't do that because they have not the same uh, um, the same settings. I mean, it's another color temperature, and uh, yeah, it was on the free air, and so yeah, you cannot use that. So let's click again, full res Canon. And then clip, ah, sorry, I will also see if the project is at 4K, it's not, it's full HD. So let's go down here, make 4K timeline, save, just to show you, you can work also with 4K and to see how the uh, computer is working with that. So let's click the lion and uh, go to the contrast. Lower the shadows, let's increase some highlights. Okay, I prefer Canon Log 3. So this looks not so bad, but let's go also into the curves. Okay, now it looks nicer. This is okay, yeah. If you want to change a little bit the colors, you can come over here and you can uh, go down to black and white or just bring some colors into it. And I will leave it like that. So here I will also want some more colors. Okay, so this is nice. 
Now uh, we must select the the blue screen uh, video and then we can uh, select this pipette. Here you have to go to the 3D qualifier and this is already selected and now you can just see here to remove all the greens you don't want. After that uh, you can add with a plus some more green things. Okay, so let's leave it here. It's not a perfect green screen work, but it's just to show this effect, how everything works. Now uh, over here we have to add an alpha output and just connect the blue little thing with uh, the rest of the image. Now you see it's inverted, so we have to go here and click invert. Now it's me just over here. And after that we can go again into the edit window and click the upper one and make a new compound clip create. And uh, after that let's say we disable it so that we can see what happens into the lion thing. In the lion we can go over here to the tracker and just select classic stabilizer and uh, not yet stabilize. So here we can uh, choose the point tracker. This is what I was searching. Here this point I will set it to this stone because this is the point where I want to be and what should be tracked with the rest. So point tracker Classic stabilizer, okay, and now we can start the tracking. We have to wait a little bit, everything is real time, like you see it. It's not exactly real time, it's a little bit slower, but uh, as you see here, the CPU is working at 93% and the GPU at 52%. My RAMs, I have uh, 64 gigabyte RAMs, it only needs 13 of them, and uh, yeah. Right now it's using 7.6 RAM from the GPU out of the 12 gigabyte the 3080 Ti has. Yeah, I do have the 30 Ti NVIDIA GeForce and as a CPU I have an AMD Ryzen 9 5900 with 12 cores. So now it's tracked and after the tracking we can bring this back to the beginning of the track and click this three dots over here and make a copy track data. So here we have been in the tracker stabilizer. Now after that we can uh, come over to the editor and just enable the video track then go back here to the color tab and uh, yeah this one is selected so let's go over here, click also classic stabilizer. You have to remove the zoom and look that the strong will be at minus 100. Now here I also think we have to set the point tracker. I'm not uh, sure, but let's say what happens if we make paste track data. Uh, yeah, and then we have to click the stabilize and uh, yeah, let's go back to the edit and see what it does. So, and if you play it now, we see almost nothing. Oops, what happened here? So we have to click here, this one, and uh, you see everything is blacked out. So we just can go down here, down here, so it's not a perfect way, but um, it works and it's good enough for me. So let's go over here. It's like a masking of it. Okay, and now we can play it. Let's see if the tracking... Yeah, I think the tracking works, wait. Yeah, I'm moving together with the uh, stones, so everything is okay. It's like I wanted. So you see here, 
the GPU is working hard and the CPU also, so it is okay. Uh, after that we can go here and just extract it. To extract it, okay, let's say where I want it. I usually extract it to the data, the video output, and then just make um, Ilias, my name, um, Lion 3. So, and uh, then I usually uh, export it in uh, H265 and I use the NVIDIA and here I will go to manual because it's 8K the video with the lion and so I'll make 8192 and um, here 4320 this is 8K and then restrict to a good quality is 250,000 as a value and uh, then add to render track add and here we can click it so we see it's 23 seconds and render all and we will see how long it will take so it's remaining 55 seconds so yeah a little bit more than 50 seconds if you want to speed it up you can go over here and say uh, um, off not minimal off then maybe one uh, FPS uh, yeah you can win a little bit speed out of that and so we are waiting now still some seconds and you have seen an uh, easy way how to work from A to Z uh, with uh, yeah to export no, to create a video with tracking and uh, green screen and working with raw data. So we are done. And it needed 50 seconds to extract 23 seconds. Now let's see if the Elias Lion is okay. This is what we created now. So let's close this. Oops, I forgot to detach the sound, but okay. Yeah, this is uh, what I wanted to show you. So thank you very much and maybe see you next time. Bye.